Hi, I'm Lisa Shader, financial coach and creator of Money Fit Moms. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to get on track for retirement, calculate how much you need to save each month to get on track for retirement using the free retirement planner from Personal Capital, which I love. It's my favorite, it's amazing, it's the reason why I recommend signing up for a free Personal Capital account. All their tools are free, um, as long as uh, you don't sign up for their optional wealth management services, but it can use, right now all their tools are free. So sign up, use them. I've been using them since 2014. It's totally secure. My husband is a IT security nerd professional, um, a professional nerd, and we've never had any issues and we love it. So I'm gonna walk you through the process so you can figure out how to get on track for retirement. Okay, so you sign in once you create an account. Um, if you haven't already created an account, here is where you can uh, add your accounts. It, if you, when you create an account, it should uh, walk you through the process of adding these accounts. But if you haven't, um, you can add them here. And the nice thing about this is it will automatically link an update, uh, not only for your net worth, but also your investments will be updated so that your retirement planner will be using your actual bank information. So that way your retirement plan will always be up to date. So um, I just added a couple of our accounts so that you'd have something to look at. And yeah, just taking a look here at the kind of features that they have. So what I love is they have this re retirement savings monitor. So once you set your goal, it can show you how on track you are towards your annual savings goal amount. And then you can always check your um, net worth, see more details on the different accounts. And then they have a few different tools like the investment checkup, retirement fee analyzer. But right now I'm gonna go to my favorite tool, the retirement planner. So uh, when you first go here, it's going to ask you for the basic information of your name and age and how much you earn. And this is going to help them calculate um, the timing of the cash flows. So enter your basic information here. I already <laughs> entered some birth years and names. And then it has the option to add your kids. The reason for this is if you want to estimate the uh, college costs and get on a plan for that. I'm going to be talking about this later in the Money Fit Challenge, so you can skip this for now or put it in because you'll know you want to do that later. So once you save this information, it's going to go to your retirement plan. So the most important number and the one we're going to be focusing on is how much you have saved right now. And the nice thing is once you've entered your accounts, which once again, I recommend so that this will automatically update all the time and you'll have a financial dashboard to check all your accounts in one login. And then you can sync that with your linked accounts rather than entering your current savings amount. And then you're gonna enter your yearly savings. So for Money Fit Challenge number two um, of calculating the monthly amount you need to save for retirement, this is the amount we're figuring out. This is in a yearly amount. So obviously you divide by 12 to figure out the monthly amount. But okay, so let's see where I am if I save 10,000. And then you have the option of saying, okay, I'm going to be increasing and saving more each year. But let's say I just set it up to be this amount. It says that I am, oh, it's calculating, testing patience. <laughs> okay, it is updated with a 67% chance that I'm gonna be on track for retirement. And you can see it shows, okay, let's say this is my age here. I'm not actually 35 yet, but let's say it's going along and it's showing our portfolio building as we have savings. And most importantly, because it's invested, it grows. And then it has what's called a Monte Carlo simulation. Obviously we can't predict the future. So this is what I love about personal capital. It does, this is your median scenario and then the 10th percentile so kind of the worst case scenario and then it shows how it grows and then as you retire you start to draw down so under the worst case scenario i'd start to run out around 
75 um, best case scen- or actually median scenario is I'm fine. So that's why it's a 67% chance. Um, so let's say we want to bring this up, but first let's look at some of our other input. Um, so security. So these are estimates. If you want to look up your social security amount, you can go to ssa.gov and create a my social security account. And this way, um, you can log in and see. So for example, I've mostly been the primary caregiver, so I haven't earned the full um, credits. You need 40 credits to qualify for retirement benefits. And then you can actually get an estimated statement. I I love the top of this statement because it's totally how I feel. Social security benefits are not intended to be your only income source when you retire. So that's why we're doing this and getting on top of it. So um, but because uh, my husband will qualify for benefits, I do qualify for a small amount as a spouse. So I have a small amount. It's up to you. Some people do not feel like you can depend on Social Security. So to be conservative, you can leave this out. Um, and then this is your retirement spending. This you can estimate. I mean, obviously it's an estimate, but um, if you track your budgeting, you can actually pull in an estimate from your spending history. But so... Let's say we want to increase our monthly spending to 7,000 because we're going to be living large. And then um, most people estimate a spending decrease because as you get older, you may travel less and have less expenses. So if you increase that spending, it makes it even less likely I'm going to meet my goals. So what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to increase our yearly savings amount. So let's see what happens if I increase this to 20,000. Okay, so I'm up to a 74% chance of meeting my goal. So I have two options. I either can plan to spend less or I can increase my savings. Let's see what happens if I get up to 25,000 a year. Takes me up to 81. I think the goal, I so now it says you're in good shape in retirement, meaning there's a chance if the market performs really poorly, you could run out. But more likely what you would do if the market was underperforming, you would adjust your spending so that you, to bring this up to 100,000, <laughs> to bring it up to 100%. Um, so yeah, if you want, you can try to get this number higher. I think in our actual scenario, we're at like 91%. Oh, another option is if you want to change um if you want to try to retire early, then you would change. Oh, not here. Where is it? When? Oh, it's when you're when you choose to retire. If you want to try to retire early, let's say we both want to retire at 55. It brings it way down. We're gonna we would have to increase our savings significantly. So our goal right now we're set up for I think 50 or 55, but we have more savings and investments than this. So anyway, those are the things that you can play with. And but this is the reason why I love personal capitals retirement planner is because it can do way, way more than most events. Um, I'm sorry, it can do more events than most planners. So you can come up with things like let's say you plan on having rental income, or you want to sell your home and move to a lower cost area, you can add the sale of your home in here. If you plan to work during retirement or have other income, you can add those income events. And then we'll talk about doing education later, but you can add um, other expenses if you want to. I would just worry about having the big items on here um, for the income. That would be how much you plan on saving, uh, social security if you want to include that, and any other large income. Um, And then the things you definitely want to have in here are your retirement spending. And then eventually we'll get to the the college goals. But you can see here they have this detailed cash flow table, which I love. You can see how this plays out. This is where the portfolio is now. And then you're adding, this is your savings amount each year. So you can see your portfolio increasing. Which is awesome. This is the retirement and then the social security, when social security kicks in. So um, another expense that you could add if you plan on retiring early, one that we have is we have an added healthcare expense because there, if we retire early, there will be a period in between um, when we lose employer health coverage, but before we qualify for Medicare at right now it's 65, obviously that can change. So 
I would plan, if you plan on retiring early, I would add a healthcare expense. Oh, and by the way, all these numbers are adjusted for inflation, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, this smart withdrawal option is one I have because we do pay for their wealth management services. Um, but yeah, just is some planning to make sure that you draw down from your investments in the most tax advantaged way. But uh, you won't see that unless you are a wealth management client, which once again is completely optional. This stuff you can all use for free, including the cash flow tables. Another awesome feature I want to show you in Personal Capital's Retirement Planner is the ability to create new scenarios. So to do this, this is where the accounts are. You make sure you go over to scenarios up here and then create a scenario. So let's call this one sell and move. And we're going to copy it from the plan we've created already. So in this plan, let's add a new income event where we sell our home. So we live in California. Homes here are crazy. So let's say we sell our million dollar home at, let's say, at 65. And then we retire to another area. So you still are going to, we lose the, um, our free rent. So uh, let's say we increase our spending because we're going to be paying rent but we save money on cost of living for food and gas so let's say it averages it out to about an increase of a thousand dollars a month so runs the scenario and then you can kind of see this what's cool is you can also compare scenarios so this is the sell and move plan and this is the other plan so similar different cash flow you can see how much it's saving the same, but at this one, there's a big sale to increase that scenario. So yeah, a, a bunch, you can create another scenario, multiple scenarios so you can play with it. So enjoy that. It's a pretty cool feature. Thanks so much for checking out this tutorial for using Personal Capital's Retirement Planner. If you want to get more financial knowledge, you can sign up for the Money Fit Challenge at moneyfitmoms.com or check the link below. And if you want to get notifications for when I have new videos, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications.